So what, what, what I want to do is I, I just want to talk a bit about, you know, what WILD does. And I think more importantly, why we decided to do this, because, you know, that sort of brings forward the business rationale for the whole concept of WILD. So, you know, what, what do we do? So WILD enables affordable, and this is really key, it enables affordable connectivity across the world where there is no wireless coverage and where wireless networks are congested. So those the two premises that Wild has actually built its business on. And if we look at the, the first premises, you know, looking at areas in the world where there's no wireless connectivity, well, McKinsey have come up with a view that lack of global connectivity is basically hampering the growth of IoT networks from adding about three trillion dollars to global GDP over the next 10 years. And that's fairly clear to everyone. Only 20% of the world's surface has wireless coverage. So we're looking at addressing that other 80%. So we went off and we developed Wild Connect. And, and, and Wild Connect is an affordable, I use the word affordable again, it's an affordable wireless solution to connect IoT devices and sensors anywhere in the world to low Earth orbiting satellites. And in respect to our, our, our second premise of congested internet connectivity, so congested internet connectivity sort of impacts businesses about five, they lose about $5.2 billion a day, really in e-commerce due to uh, congested internet connectivity. So we went off and developed a solution called Wild Mesh, and it's a technology that allows you to connect smartphones and IoT devices directly together in a mesh network without the need for Wi-Fi or 4G. So if, if you look at that, we, we've actually created an additional layer of wireless connectivity. So today you've got Wi-Fi as a layer of wireless connectivity, you've got 4G as a layer of Wi-Fi connectivity, and moving forward, we're gonna have 5G as a layer of wireless connectivity. So what we've done at Wild is we've added an additional layer of wireless connectivity to the whole communication network, and that's peer-to-peer -peer uh, device connectivity in a mesh network. So that's that's sort of a, a view on the technology. And I just want to come now and just look at um, the application of what we're doing. So if I address Wild Connect first, so Wild Connect, you know, really there to enable affordable global satellite connectivity. As I said earlier, cellular networks only cover about 20% of the world's surface. We're looking at how do we get connectivity out to the rest of that 80%. So uh, I hope that sort of uh, explained a bit about the applications of the satellite IoT technology. But what I'd like to do is just just take you through some the, the three key attributes as to how we're actually delivering the solution and what the benefits actually are. So as I said before, this is all about providing global coverage and affordable coverage. And there's three things that we've actually looked at. One is terminals. So 
we've developed a terminal um, and we've low costed that terminal down to a position that moves terminal costs from about 600 US dollars down to about 40 US dollars. We've looked at spectrum and for satellite IoT operators, um, as you know, they, have to, they, they pay governments billions of dollars to get access to spectrum. And of course, you know, that money is paid to the Chancellor of the Exchequer. Who, who ends up paying for it? It's the users, it's us. So what we've done is we've actually developed our connectivity platform to use unlicensed spectrum. So it's free spectrum. It's regulated spectrum, it's in the ISM band, but it's free. So we've actually taken billions of dollars out of the whole economics of satellite IoT. And thirdly, we've looked at you know, how else we can reduce these costs. And it's really looking at low earth orbiting satellites. So you know, traditionally there's been geostationary satellites, 36,000 kilometers up in the sky, costs a huge amount of money. Today, we're seeing a proliferation of low Earth orbiting satellites being launched. Elon Musk's doing it. Um, you know, Amazon are putting up their own uh, low Earth orbiting constellation. And it's all about taking the cost of satellite communications out of the whole economic solution. So our solution basically addresses affordability, but global affordability and making satellite economics the same as terrestrial IoT economics. If I just want to move on and talk a bit about wild mesh, and um, you know, when I talk about wild mesh, we're talking about how we solve the problem of internet uh, congestion. And there's two key words to take out of here: resilience. Resilience points to solving the problem by adding an additional layer of wireless connectivity and relevant is basically pointing at our overall solution. Our solution is about delivering relevant content that's relevant to your location and relevant to what you want and what you like. I have another video that I'd like to show you and that will also explain some of the applications of Wild Mesh. <laughs> So that's Wild Mesh. What Wild Mesh is really about allowing businesses to actually go out and build branded location aware networks. It's about delivering relevant location content and marketing, enhancing customer experience and generating new revenue streams, delivering that content over Wi-Fi, delivering that content over 4G, but also delivering that content over mesh networks where those wireless layers don't actually exist or are congested. So I just want to go through a bit more about what does that market uh, actually look like. Um, there's, there's three sectors we're going after. Um, the, the satellite IoT network, obviously, 
And it's actually two solutions from Wild. There's Wild Connect, which is the IoT module, and there's Wild Fusion, which is the platform that sits in the cloud that manages the network. The size of that market is relatively clear now. Um, we, we, we see the market growing to about $6 billion, but to give you an idea of what does that mean in respect to IoT modules, that's the solution that we're developing. Well, according to the latest reports, starting this year with all the low earth orbiting satellites are being launched, they're projecting or forecasting there'd be about 30.3 million IoT modules deployed starting this year by 2025. And that's the market that we're actually going after, that 30.3 million IoT modules. And then on the consumer mesh side, and that's all about how do we deliver location aware content that's relevant to your location and relevant to what you like and personalized. Once again, we're now using Wild Fusion as a platform that sits in the cloud and Wild Mesh as the software that allows you to connect devices in a peer-to-peer -peer architecture. And if we look at the size of that market, once again, it's in the billions. You know, global location-based advertising is up at about $62 billion um, last year, and it's growing over 17% up to 2027, so very large market. And then when we look at the enterprise mesh IoT networks, that's where we're now combining Wild Fusion that sits in the cloud, Wild Mesh, and the Wild Connect IoT module. So now we're actually connecting not just smartphones to smartphones, but smartphones to IoT devices, IoT to IoT devices, collecting that data in Wild Fusion, and then making actionable decisions on what we want to do with that data. And that's also a large market. If you look at the size of the mesh market, it's sort of forecasted to reach about $12.1 billion. So that's lots of billions of dollars. And so what we've done is we've looked at, well, what does that actually mean from a total addressable market? You know, what can Wild do in this market? And so we've gone through all the numbers, we've looked at all the growth drivers, and we believe our total addressable market is forecasted to grow to about $670 million by 2024. Before I move on to the next slide, I just want to point out that um, you, you've noticed that Wild Fusion is the platform that sits in the cloud that actually manages each of those three markets. Well, Wild Fusion is really where a lot of the intelligence actually sits in our overall solution. It's, it's the, the product or the solution that really turns sand into gold. So if we look at where we are with customers, so Wild Connect, the terrestrial IoT bit, um, which doesn't include the satellite IoT uh, development. So the terrestrial IoT bits we launched in 2019, it was towards the end of 2019, and that was using LP1 or LoRa, to connect devices in agriculture, in environments. And we, we got a lot of customers uh, on board and we started to market the solution, sell the solution. And that sort of represented the majority of our revenue in 2020. That was Wild Connect, the terrestrial IoT bit. With Wild Mesh, we launched that in Q3 uh, last year, Q3 2020. We, 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 it wasn't the greatest time to, to launch a mesh solution considering stadiums and retail were all in lockdown, but we sort of pivoted a bit and went straight after the, the, um, the NHS, really to sort of utilize our location capability. So I talked a lot about location. We have you know, a lot of location capability in the solutions. So we used that technology and pivoted it a bit for looking at how we manage social distancing in care homes. Wild Connect on the IoT side, the satellite piece on the right hand, right hand side, we, as you, as you may know, we've, we, we've signed up um, a satellite operator that's working with us, and we're going to be launching the commercial solution in Q4 this year. And we'll be actually delivering the piece on the ground that connects sensors directly to those low Earth orbiting satellites. So we've signed a whole load of partnership agreements. We've signed up with Fujitsu, Alliance, KWS, Weizen, and there's a whole load of others that I, I can't actually um, talk about. We've got confidentiality agreements with them, all focusing on the Wild Connect satellite IoT piece. If I look at the combined revenues for all of the partner agreements we've actually got signed up on the satellite IoT piece, 
it comes to $132 billion. So our focus is really to leverage these partners we've got to allow them to take our solution to market. They've got existing contracts. They've got the workforce and the sales team in place. So we're going to use these guys to actually leverage what they've got to take us to market. So I'm just going to end my presentation just going through again what the three markets are. There's the satellite and terrestrial IoT networks. It's about creating affordable wireless networks to control and collect data in the agriculture, environment, oil and gas space. There's a consumer mesh networks piece, which is all about the creation of customer engagement, generating new revenue streams through location aware targeted marketing. And that's in retail stadiums and venues. And then there's the combination of mesh and IoT, and that's more focused on the enterprise bit. It was a bit like our care homes, where we're sort of connecting IoT devices to smartphones and creating a, a real mesh network of smartphones and IoT devices and enhancing the communications and improving operational efficiencies in one single network. So that's what I'd like to present. I'm happy to take uh, questions and answers when we're finished with the rest of the presentations.